birthday, if it's your birthday, happy Blade birthday, if it's in the past, happy future birthday, if it's in the future. My name is Lime Green, and welcome to the Out of Time Podcast, the podcast where I have run out of time to play very famous, very wonderful games. We've played Five Nights at Freddy's, Mega Man Battle Network, Ocarina of Time, and now we're on to Majora's Mask. This is the podcast episode where we're going to be going through Great Bay Temple and how this works is I play through a temple in uh, <laughs> Zelda's case and then I go back onto the podcast and then I tell you how my experiences worked or went I guess <laughs> and uh, and then you go go wowee that's how it looks from a outside expe- outside perspective I guess that's how it works <laughs> I don't know I don't know um, so yeah this is the Great Bay Temple um actually played a little further than that just enough for next episode but yo no spoilers for next episode uh last episode I predicted or tried to predict that the dungeon would be all on the giant turtle it is not on the giant turtle it's like this water industrial water filtration system and very strange you go inside there's lots of pipes pumps <laughs> and water wheels that's what my uh, notes say very specifically it's a very strange dungeon I don't think I've ever come across a dungeon like this in Zelda uh, very very industrial uh, the whole point of the dungeon is to like took me a long time to even like figure out what I was trying to do like you have to go along in the first area and like switch a switch or push a switch I don't even know what you'd call it like a I'm doing hand motions I guess a switch and then water shoots up and then you go into this big room with this water filtration system <laughs> the notes and uh it's constantly churning the water and uh you jump in and there's doors all around all along the sides and uh very hard to <laughs> navigate the doors you really want to get to uh kind of akin to when you're getting the eggs in the great bay but just with a whirlpool constantly churning you around uh if i really want to be uh drawing comparisons you could say it's like Ocarina of Time's Water Temple with, you know, the iron boots, how you have to pull them on and float back up, but with Zora Link, you can just swim up, swim down, do whatever. You could say Zora Link's kind of like the iron boots, but improved. Uh, so once you you know, jumping ahead here, you, you gotta uh, go through the right path, find the mini boss, the first mini boss, who's just like a big eye, and he's surrounded by like jelly or something. Bunch of little balls of jelly, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and what I thought at first 
was to take Zoralink, because this is like the Zoralink dungeon, and, you know, do the Zora boomerang, and keep, I guess, boomeranging the jellies, and then, that, that's what I did at first, and then shoot the eye, and... Eventually, I got overwhelmed by doing that. That was not as good as what I initially thought it would be. Um, I think my, like what I did that eventually worked out was I shot the eye. I just focused on shooting the eye with the arrow. I didn't switch his aura link at all. Uh, I found out bombs <laughs> work really well on the jellies, and after the first phase, he just bounces all around, and becomes like the DVD logo logo what do you call that like a I guess logo DVD screen saver guy and then you beat him like that you have to sink another arrow in him and then you get the ice arrows uh But then after that, there's another another mini boss, who is a boxing frog. In <laughs> jelly, now this guy, he took me. I feel like he got a little lucky with me because his whole thing is he's like surrounded in the jelly. And then you got uh, beat him up a little bit, and then he goes, and then he jumps up to the ceiling, and then you gotta shoot the ice arrow, and then you freeze him, and then he falls to the ground, and then he shatters, and then he runs around, and then you gotta slash him, <laughs> and then normally it only like registers one slash. And then he, he's like, oh no. And then he ju <laughs> jumps back into the jelly. And then he goes, Whoop. and then he, he, it repeats all again. And then, uh, even if like the smallest little bit of jelly, like, touches a little toe of yours, he sucks you up. And then he, he just, Mike Tyson's. uppercuts you out of the j this is like the weirdest weirdest phrase ever he, the frog boxes you out of the jelly and there's nothing you can do about it. you can't box him back and uh it is so surreal and then when <laughs> uh when he hops up uh you shoot the air ice arrow but it needs to be at like the perfect point because if you shoot the ice arrow uh what does it do it like it hits it but i don't think it like freezes it it's like a really weird thing it does uh after you beat him you get like the boss key I believe and afterwards you have to change the water wheel and with that I had to look up I was like how do you even 
know about the water wheel. Like, I'll say, I, I'll spoil next episode a little bit. I, I came back here for the fairies. I did all the fairy missions because I feel like Majora's Mask is kind of wrapping up. You know, I want to do all the cool stuff. Uh, but I, I had to peek at a guide a little bit this episode. It would be like, where do I go? <laughs> How often do I need to change the water wheel? But when I came back to get all the fairies, I'm like, all right, I, I kind of know a little more. Uh, but I, this dungeon was like, all right, I guess. I think I like the pirate fortress a little more. If that's a <laughs> dungeon, I don't know. Uh, eventually, you go into the boss itself, who is the gargantuan masked fish. Yorg. <laughs> no uh, relation to Gygus. Uh. He's just a big fish, and I fought him underwater with Zora Link. Uh, you just need to do your little. Is it electricity? Your little electric barrier that Zora Link produces? I'm not sure. But you have to do that a lot in this dungeon. Uh, you just need to hang out close to him and just. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, let me know in the comments if you know what that is. Uh, it certainly looks different in the 3DS and the N64 version. Uh, I'll say all the boss fights so far have been <laughs> radically different, I appreciate that. Uh, but the second phase... Uh, all of a sudden these mines come out and I was down to one heart or a couple hearts and suddenly like hearts started or stopped appearing from the little fish and I was like uh oh what do I do and I legitimately had no idea what to do and Yorg, he just kept inhaling and spitting out the little fish, and I wasn't sure <laughs> what to do. And then all of a sudden, I went, Oh, what if I can do something with the chains? And I broke one of the chains, and he ate it, and he blew up, and I won. And then we saw the giant. And, uh, also I got Georg's remains and, uh, her container. And we're like, y yippee! <laughs> uh, so that, that's the, that's the Great Bay Temple in a nutshell. Why did I say it like that? Uh, but after the fact, I did that. I found out the Great Bay Temple is not, I guess, the favorite dungeon to mem many, memmy. Uh, so let me know what you think of the Great Bay Temple in the comments down below. I didn't think it was that bad. Like, I, <laughs> I used a god, but I didn't use it throughout the whole thing. Like, some of the stuff was a little weird, like, there's an Octorok floating, and I thought I had to freeze the water, but then you find out you had to freeze the Octorok to jump up. That's not <laughs> the worst puzzle, but some, some of the stuff was, like... A little weird, I guess. Yeah, 
you don't really expect a industrial a water treatment plant to be in a Zelda game. But I guess it's a it fits with the theme of a lake, I guess. I don't know. Let me know what you thought of uh, Great Bay Temple in the comments. Did you like Google your <laughs> uh, and the boxing frog? What do you think of the ice arrows? Should have been uh, the gold bracelets or something. I don't know. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll see you next episode where uh, I talk about collecting all the fairies and what else? Some masks and... Oh, I talk about the alien invasion. Oh, see you then. <laughs>